Welcome back. I'm Andrea. This is the Talk of San Diego, and I'm here chatting with Tino Luciano, and he is director, writer, producer of The Reckoning of Scarlet Waters. And we were just talking a little bit about his feature film coming up and the role that he gave me in his film. And can you tell me about that role? Sure, sure. Um, you're playing the role of Naksha. Uh, Naksha is a uh, Native American, and when Scarlet comes into the Native American uh, village and they, they bring her in and they start healing her, um, Red Earth, the, the character of Red Earth, is drawn to her a little bit. And you have, uh, Naksha has feelings towards Red Earth, so there's that, there's that little <laughs> bit of friction between the two of you guys. Um, the, the lines have all been written for you. I made sure that I, I wrote those to the T. Um, she actually has no lines. <laughs> it's all body language. And some of this footage that I got to see from you, um, you know, I, I don't see you having a problem with that whatsoever. Um, we have a friend in common, <laughs> Mr. Mark Benjamin. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Mark, uh, Mark sent me an email one day. He was on Tales of the Frontier. He was uh, um, in the episode of Fate. And uh, he shot me an email and said, I need you to look at this girl. I've worked with her. Take a look at her. So uh, I, I looked at what he sent, and I investigated you to see who you are. And, uh, <laughs> a little research. Yeah, yeah. And I reached out to you, and you... you came right back at me and said yeah <laughs> so I, I was happy and then uh, I, uh, maybe last week two weeks ago I got a, uh, some footage from Mark for something that you guys did together and I reached out to you and said hey beautiful I mean it looked really really good it thank was really you so good. much so. and just to let you know um, I really went out on a whim and I ran into Tino's um, production stills on Facebook and I just commented I said you need any more actresses and and he got back to me, you know, almost instantly, pretty much. And that was the uh, <laughs> saloon. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, and that's just how it happens. So if you ever afraid to ask, you know, never just just try. I mean, there's nothing to lose. So that's yeah. what I figured. You know, it's a lot of people ask me, um, you know, tell me what what is. Uh, what would you say to somebody trying to get into this industry, um, be it an actor, be it a director or producer? Uh, number one, don't give up. Don't uh, doors sure. close. Doors constantly close. Doors close. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but for every door that closes, two more will open. And you've just got to have it within yourself. You've got to be bold and you've got to be strong and be yeah. willing to walk through the doors. Um, if I were to lick my wounds, lay down and cry, um, you know what, I wouldn't be where I am today. We've <laughs> had this door sealed shut on me and I just had to find another way around it. And uh, you know, the, the doors that are open, I continue to walk through and with each door that I walk through, another blessing happens, um, just like meeting you, you know. Um, <sighs> The, the cast, I've got, I've got so many people, you know, that are going, hey, I want to help, what can I do? Uh, my crew, good Lord, you know what, I've got, my crew, we've worked together for quite some time. Um, I, I love working with these guys, they love working with me, you'll get to, you'll get to meet them. Um, uh, executive producer Jake Borowski, I've got uh, Christopher Clay Jones uh, as a producer and an actor on this. I've got J. Michael Briggs, uh, J. Michael Briggs is an actor and a producer as well. I've got Dr. Valerie Enloe. Um, who came on uh, as a producer with us, um, Mike uh, Mike Atherer, uh, executive producer, and uh, the the latest one that we just brought in is Mr. Peter Shereko. Uh Peter Shereko, if you don't know this, uh, he played Texas Jack in the movie Tombstone. In 2004, from 2004 to about 2006, I was one of Peter's buckaroos, and what that means is. Um, little buckaroo? Yeah, I knew it was going there. That's why I was going to explain it. <laughs> what that means is... My dad calls me buckaroo. All right. Buckaroo. He's a cowboy, too. Awesome. I have to come one day. I like your dad already. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter's always been involved in the, the movie industry, and they would, he'd be involved in whatever. Somebody would call him and say, hey, Peter, uh, you know what? This is what we're shooting. I'd get a phone call. Hey, it's 1871. I need you at such and such studio tomorrow. And he knew that we would show up with full gear. I mean, everything would be period, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and you had it already. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've done a lot of work. Uh, uh, history, uh, the History Channel, Discovery Channel. I worked on Wild West Tech uh, with David Carradine. Did a couple episodes there. And the Old West is in my blood. So I mean, I own the wardrobe. I dove into this. This is what I want to do. Um, and now, seeing everything, I turn the tables, and I really like being on 
this side, it'd be the other side of the camera. <laughs> I like being the, the producer and the director and, and uh, not so much for calling the shots, but for making making the Western period. And I pride myself in periodness and, and you'll notice this. Um, from the shoes that the women wear to my, my, saddle, uh, my saddlery and the tack for horses, Everything's got to be done. Period. And of course. you know, I, I people try scrutinizing, going, "Oh, you know, I looked at all your episodes, and I can't find anything wrong." And it's like, "Thank you." How about glasses too? Even the glasses. Wow. Yes, even the glasses. And what were your favorite shows as a kid? Um, you know what? I grew up on uh, The Rifleman, uh, Have Gun, Will Travel, uh, Little House on the Prairie, Bonanza. You know, all the all of all of those uh, family value TVs are what I grew up on, and yeah. we were drawn to the family uh, to the TV as a family. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just wanted to I want to just keep that going. I, I want to instill that. And when you were watching them as a kid, did you think I want to live that life, or I want to make a representation of that? No, um, it, it wasn't a matter of making it or or anything like that. It was a matter of wow, the cowboys they really existed, and I just wanted to. To, to start following the, those, uh, the history on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back shortly. I'm Andrea, this is Tino, and you're watching the Talk of San Diego. See you in a bit.